So now that you've had an introduction to Project Omega, I want to take a few minutes and walk you through how to use this interactive guide and discuss how it's going to be used for the duration of this course. Now, the first thing to understand about Project Omega and this interactive diagram is that this is a resource that you have and can use just as I'm using now and will use throughout this course. The link seen here will be provided to you in the course description as well as several other locations within the course so you can always find the link and access it whenever you want to use it to follow along with the lessons. So what is this interactive guide and how is it going to be used? Instead of using traditional PowerPoint slides to convey information, we here at Linux Academy have developed this as an interactive guide with various levels that you can explore and use to learn more about AWS. So first, this is the main page and this is Project Omega's infrastructure or what we are going to build. And all the various components have been broken up into different sections and we're gonna use those sections to teach the elements of each one of these services or concepts that we're going to explore. Now, the great thing about this is that almost everything on this diagram is interactive. We can start by turning it all on or off. At any given time, we can turn off various services or turn them back on as we want to explore what different functions are and how services are used or visually placed within AWS architecture. But what we're gonna do for the duration of this course is start with a blank slate, and then together, through each lesson, we are going to build the infrastructure for Project Omega as we move along. And within each one of these sections, you can click on the related icon on the diagram and it is going to take you into that section in which you can then view the lessons. So as an example here for S3, you click on the icon on the main diagram and it's then going to bring up a summary of what this section is going to cover and then all of the lessons for this particular service. So the first lesson would be basics. And then within S3 Basics, you'll see up here, there'll be more pages available. And you can click on those and see definitions, components, diagrams, and information that I want to convey for each lesson. So each video in this course will correspond to one of these lessons within a section. So there's a fluid navigation to this that you'll be able to use and jump in to any specific service that you want at any given time. For example, if you want to know more about, if you wanted to know more about just the VPC, you can turn that section on, click on the VPC diagram, and then you're going to have all of the VPC lessons here. Now, within each one of these lessons, there's the ability for us to provide live links for you. So at the bottom of each introductory page for a lesson, there's going to be helpful links. And these will be links directly to the lesson that has already been prepared for this particular topic. Also, there will be a link to the AWS documentation specific to the items that we were talking about in that particular lesson. So network access control list was right here for the lesson network access control list. And then to navigate through each lesson, you just follow along and can click on the pages. Also in each section, so if you click on S3, there is going to be a quick reference button up top. If you turn this on, it will cover up whatever else you were looking at, but you can then toggle between Project Omega if you want to review what that is, but then also sections on simplified AWS definitions for all the various services and the official AWS definition for all of the services. So if we happen to be in a lesson, say for S3, and I happen to mention EC2 or SNS or one of the other services that you're not familiar with yet, you can always pause the video, come up here to quick reference, go over to the simplified definition or the official definition and read up on those services just so you have a basic understanding of what they are if at any time you have some confusion. And you can always just toggle this on and off. So another note is that depending on your computer, your resolution, and the size of the monitor that you're using, you may have 
these pages pop up with different sizes. So if you just mouse over the bottom, it will bring up here for you a zoom feature where you can manually choose a zoom. Usually zoom to page is what you want to use, that works best, or you can manually resize each page. But we are really excited to show off this new type of interactive learning format and we'd be really happy to receive feedback from all of you who take this course in the community. And throughout the duration of this course, what you're going to find is that as I'm teaching the course, what we're going to do is I'm going to have the live interactive guide over here and I'm going to be using that to teach concepts and information. But then at the same time, on the other half of the screen, I'll be working in the AWS console mimicking what I'm teaching here. So these two tools go hand in hand with each other. I'm really excited to give everyone the opportunity to try this new interactive format that we have been working on. And again, this is really the first time that we've tried something like this. So I would really call this a beta test for this type of interactive guide and this type of learning experience. So again, I would love some feedback from any of you on your thoughts for this new type of platform. And again, to find the link for this interactive diagram, please look in the course description as well as the download section of the course. But for now, we will conclude this introduction to Project Omega and this interactive guide. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.